the project is based on four key ideas. First is to use um, technology to leverage scarce specialty resources that may only exist at major academic medical centers. And, these, and there are no specialists for these complex diseases often in rural areas. The second key idea there is to uh, create best practice protocols for managing these complex diseases and then share them with primary care clinicians in rural areas uh, so that everybody can provide the same level of care. The third idea in Project ECHO is case-based learning. That is using the same methodology of learning that clinicians learned when they went to medical school and residencies and working, uh, being mentored by professors in academic universities. And by using technology, we can allow this to happen in a virtual fashion and clinicians in rural areas can learn how to manage these complex diseases uh, with mentors of the university. And fourth, we use the internet to track outcomes. And, and you do this in large part through virtual rounds? Can, can you explain those? Yeah, for example, uh, we have set up 21 treatment uh, centers for hepatitis C in rural New Mexico. And every week, on a Wednesday afternoon, 15, 20 clinicians join in simultaneously. They each have a webcam and they join a video conference where they can all see each other and uh, converse with a specialist at the university. And one by one they present patients, uh, their patients with hepatitis C, case presentations uh, regarding hepatitis C to the specialist of the university. And as they present these cases, the specialist of the university help them uh, by co-managing patients with them. This produces a process which we call learning loops. Uh, learning loops is these clinicians learn from each other, they learn from the university specialist, they learn by doing and in our research we've shown that they rapidly become experts in treating hepatitis C. This results in uh, the primary goal of Project ECHO which is uh, called the force multiplier. What is the force multiplier effect? The force multiplier is uh, we've defined as a logarithmic improvement in capacity of care to manage a complex disease in rural area. And this occurs if there's a one specialist at the university by uh, mentoring up to 20 clinicians in rural areas in different areas to, uh, to manage this disease to best practice, a logarithmic improvement in capacity occurs and there's much better access and better quality of care for patients in underserved areas. And why is the force multiplier effect, uh, how does that help bring health care to underserved communities? I think the main uh, difficulty in underserved communities is that there are a few primary care clinicians but there are no specialists. And patients have to travel very long distances, sometimes hundreds of miles to get specialty care. When you create a, a specialized center of excellence in a rural area, uh, patients get access to care uh, right in their home communities, provided by their own doctors. And um, typically underserved patients wouldn't have the financial wherewithal to travel to large cities for days on end.